This week we've got a double punch, an Olympic gold medalist, and the trick that fooled Einstein. This diabolical episode of Scam School brought to you by the evil geniuses at Squarespace. Welcome to your first step on the path to double vision. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and so far we've given you the power of super strength, we've given you x-ray vision, now we give you supersonic hearing with the trick that was described to me as the one that fooled Einstein. Johnny Mosley, Olympic gold medalist. You're right. very kind to come slum with us here on Scam School. How on earth did you get roped into this shenanigan? Well, my friends turned me on to Revision 3, and I saw your show, and I went in to talk with Revision 3 guys about all kinds of things, and they said, do you want to get scammed? <laughs> and you're like, hell, I got way too many dollars in my pocket. Let's do that. Pretty much, so uh, that's why I'm here. All right, well, speaking of dollars in the pocket, this is an effect that involves a little bit of change. Do you happen to have some change in your pocket? Okay, yeah, yeah. Because I got some over here, too. Wait, oh, don't let me see it. Don't let me see it. It's got to be secret. Oh, oh. It's got to be secret. I don't want to know how much money you got. All right, I got to change my pocket. You got it? Yeah, yeah. All right, now, here's the thing. I've got, even with all the cacophony inside this, uh, how often do you get to say that word, cacophony? Oh, that's a good word. It's a pretty good that's word. A nice word. Even yeah. with the cacophony of this bar, yeah, yeah. I've got eagle ears. And I, I'm not going to claim that I can just listen and say how much change you have, but I am going to claim that I can tell you what the difference between our change is. Here, sh shake it up on the microphone. All right, now you do yours. All right. All right, now I definitely have more than you. I can tell that. Right, yeah, that's the easy part. Now I'm gonna try to take it up a notch, and this is gonna sound weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you in three stages here. Okay, I have the exact same amount you have, plus two extra quarters. Okay. And I've also got enough extra left over to bring your total up to $2.35. So let's start and see how much you got. How much okay. you got? You, you just smack 50, it all down there. 70. 75, so we got what? That's a dollar, dollar three. A dollar three, right? So, I, uh, so like I said. Two extra quarters. You, I have as much as you have. That's a dollar and three. Uh, so already the first part's done. Okay. Plus two extra quarters, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And enough left over to bring your total up to what did I say? 235. 235. So we got 103. That's 153. That's 203. Yeah. That's 213. Uh huh. That's 223. Yeah. That's 233. 234, 235, and a piece of lint. You just can tell that by the uh, by the shaking of the that, sound. It's the sound. It's you gotta have eagle ears. That's not bad, is it? You wanna learn that one? Oh, I get to learn it? Oh yeah, yeah. Definitely. That's how we roll on scam school. We don't just screw you over and leave. I, I That's real life. I mean, I saw life. that movie, The Prestige, the other day. So oh, isn't that great? I know there's some some like mechanical something. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through it. There's here. That, that'll right. be your dollar and three. Okay. And I'll take all the rest. All right. And uh, here's the thing. The key to making this work is in the funny phrasing, right? And I don't know if it's true or not, but the way this was described to me is right. that it was called the trick that fooled Einstein. Is it a math it, trick or something? It's, it's a little bit of algebra. I wasn't adding. <laughs> no, that's all right. You don't have to add. You don't have to. All you have to remember is the magic phrasing okay. of I have as much as you have. Plus. Plus 50, uh, two quarters. Uh -huh. And enough left over to bring your total to 235. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now let's look at it this way. What if we just took the last two parts? Okay. Let's say you had nothing in your hand. Okay. It would still work. I would say I have as much as you, nothing. Right. Plus, Plus. two quarters. Yeah. And enough left over to bring your total from nothing to $1, 150 $2, 205 210 220 230 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
But you guessed that I had 103 to start with? No. I didn't. I had no idea. It works no matter what amount you have. Here, pick any three of those. Alright. <laughs> He's not gonna let me see. It's the secret of the magic phrasing. It doesn't matter how much he's got. Alright, okay. Wait. Sounds like you got three pennies there, but that's all right. I'm still going to bet all that right. I've got the same amount as you, Okay. plus two quarters, right. and enough left over to make the total 235. That's right. Okay, so what do you got? All right, so I have a quarter. You have 27 cents. So I've got as much as you, Yeah. plus two quarters, Right. and enough left over to bring your total from 27 to a buck 27 to 202 to 12 to 22 to 32 to 33 to 34 to 35. That's crazy. That it just always it, works? it always works out because it's it, if you think about it as an algebra equation. Now, yeah. now we are going to get into that, right? Okay. Let's talk about so I've got x yeah plus two quarters okay and some amount and y, which will bring the total to 235. Right. All I'm really saying is I have two dollars and eighty five cents. Ah, got it. All you gotta do is have two dollars and eighty-five cents in your hand. That's the total. Exactly. Everything in between is exactly. Add up. So I've got two eighty-five. But okay. if I just say I don't know what you got, but I've got two eighty-five, that's a pretty dumb trick. Right, but if right, I say right. I have as much as you, plus two quarters, got and enough left over to bring the total to two thirty-five, you got a match, and people are amazed. Do you like that? Wow. You're good. It's good You're to no see you. No wonder they have you on this thing. Next up, we're going to review and do some Q&A, but first, let's take a moment to talk about our newest sponsor here at Scam School. Squarespace has unbelievable software that makes it mind-breakingly easy to create amazing-looking websites from scratch. With no technical knowledge whatsoever, even a brain-dead monkey like myself can create a kick-ass website. In fact, I was checking out my friend Jeff Kanata's website, co-host of the Totally Rad Show right here at Revision 3, and it looks absolutely amazing. They've got a free 14-day trial, no risk. You don't even have to provide a credit card. So head on over to squarespace.com to start an account. Enter promo code SCAMSCHOOL and get 10% off for the life of your membership. The life of your membership. And make sure to keep your eyes out for some fun promotions that we'll be running with Squarespace in the future. Now let's review. If there's one hiccup with this effect, it's the complicated phrasing of the prediction. You've got to take some time to practice saying it a few times. Otherwise, you're going to mess it up and nobody's going to understand what the perceived effect should be. Break it into pieces, take your time, and once you get it to where when you say the words and they exactly match with the coins, then you've got a miracle on your hands. Let's take a little bit of Q&A. Today's question is about a certain viral video making the rounds right now. User DLA72 asks, is this guy Brian Brushwood? All right, so this is the uh, Russian roulette routine I was telling you about uh, called Stigmata. What it is, it uses a knife, four styrofoam cups, and a turntable. The knife goes in the turntable where it can spin around, and then I spin it fast enough that nobody can see where it goes. And then I make my psychic selection, and if all goes well... Oh! Oh! Ta-da! <laughs> Guilty as charged, that is in fact me, and it is in fact very much fake. That was a joke video I put together for my contact over at The Tonight Show a couple of years ago. I ran across the clip about a month back and figured what the heck, I'd put it on YouTube. Trust me, I never expected it to hit the email forwarding circuit. So that wraps it up for this episode of Scam School. We want to give a very special thanks to Johnny Mosley. Make sure to head on over to johnnymosley.com, or you can follow him at Twitter at twitter.com slash johnnymosley. Don't forget, if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. Any questions about this gag, join us at the forums at revision3.com slash scam school. Now don't forget, next week we have a very special episode. We're going to learn how to sober up instantly using a gas station vacuum and some duct tape. Until then, just keep sleeping it off.